name is Natalie and I'm here at U Chicago to talk to students about their experiences. Let's go! What's your name? Hi, Taran Punjabi. And what's your major? Computer Science and Statistics. I'm from Mumbai, India. What's your name? I'm Emily. I am a first year and I'm undecided. I'm Allison Cantor. I'm a first year and I'm probably trying to major in political science. My name is Jing Fei. I'm Eric. We are both financial mathematics major. We are a second year master's student. Hello, Makai. Third year, philosophy and religious studies. My name is Yusud Prita Milian. I'm a first year public policy and comparative race and ethnic studies major. Uh, what's one of your favorite things about UChicago? Honestly, it's a great university so far. I love how, honestly, the rigor of classes is much above what many other colleges are. And you really get into the college, but you do have anyone you want to meet or any type of friend group that you want to have at this college. It's not solely as many people think it is, which is honestly a great thing. So far, one of my favorite things is that there's not really a stereotype here. There's a lot of diversity in every aspect. Everybody's studying something different. Everybody has a different personality, but they can connect on the common ground that they love learning, and it's really cool. Probably my favorite thing so far is the people. Uh, I've been meeting a lot of really great people in my dorm, and everyone has a lot of different interests, but like we've, I don't know, We've, we've all, I've been able to get along with almost everyone I've met here so far and it's been great. The amount of opportunity that's here. You definitely have people that are very into what they're doing um, and you have avenues to follow any interest you want. Uh, so far, I think, it's, I think it's the students and also the classes. I think that the classes are a new level of like analysis and interpreting documents and like just the way I've been able to shape my first year, my first quarter so far has been really amazing and I can see like connections between classes oh, okay. that I've never been able to do before and I'm glad I have the autonomy to do that here. What was um, one of the main reasons you chose you Chicago? I chose Chicago because it was the perfect balance I think in every way. City school versus like not city school, um, academic versus you know athletic and other things. Um, it was just a good a good balance all around. What's your least favorite thing about you, Chicago, if anything at all? Probably the weather, honestly. <laughs> the winter gets really bad sometimes, but other than that, it's been great. But probably my least favorite thing about you, Chicago, would have to be the workload. Um, it hasn't gotten too bad yet, but I am already, it's pretty much the main thing that I do with my days, so. Do you have a least favorite thing about you, Chicago? People are busy here <laughs> to the point where you yourself can even become unavailable to other people. So, that's a negative. But, you know, <laughs> we came here to work. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I don't have a... You don't have one? Yeah. Oh, I have one. <laughs> okay. It's really hard to find a parking spot. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's true. So do you want to talk a little bit about the social life? Like, what do you guys do for fun? I mean, I watch football with my friends on Sounds Sundays. Like We're actually in the same fraternity, hanging out off campus. Most folks live off campus after their first year, so apartments, just hanging out normal college things. I definitely end up spending a lot of time with my friends. We try to like make plans so then we're not always doing work. Mm -hmm. I'm also in Underground Collective, which is like a space for like, or a collective of artists um, in which I do poetry. So on so Sundays, cool. that's how I spend my time. Going to someone's room, going to chill for a bit, and then mostly going out either downtown or to maybe your frat. But there is an active social life going on at the college. Uh, board games. <laughs> board games? Yeah. yeah. We go to karaoke. Um, <laughs> have dinner okay. together yeah. with all friends. How do you like the campus and like the location being near Chicago? And Oh, oh my god, I love it. I was just in the city like um, last weekend uh, showing around a friend. And I think I, I really enjoyed I did like a summer program called CAP where we like saw a lot more of the city. Um, and we're really able to like just really hone like public transportation which is like something you like definitely have to do especially like your first year or will like you'll eventually go into the city and like because it's just yeah. like a bus or train ride away it's kind of like why not it's been great um i've been able to go out in chicago a bunch i go into chinatown with my friends every saturday to get dinner um and that's been really fun there's a lot of great food and stores and also just wandering around it's just really nice to be near a city. I actually bought a bike recently so I did a lot of exploring this summer. I worked here for the summer right. um, but generally during the year you're not gonna get off as much. Yeah. So. Is it hard to balance the academic life and social life? You know there's a reputation for like having a crazy academic rigor here. Do you feel like you could still have a social life? Um, I would say this is not where fun goes to die if that's what you're <laughs> asking. I think you can definitely do both. Um, and like a lot of my friends, I study with them. So I mean, you're not 
it, you never feel alone, that's for sure. And like, there's there's definitely room for both. Well, I think that while it can be hard at times, it's actually overhyped the workload, and it's not yeah. as hard as people make it out to be. And we also have a lot more fun than they say. So. I'm lucky because I had a lot of practice doing this in high school, so I've been able to keep pretty balanced so far. Um, but it's definitely a balancing act of when it's actually feasible to go out and when you really do have to stay home and work. But it's definitely possible to still have a social life. <laughs> Everyone here overcommits. I have five jobs right now. Wow. So that's a problem. But. <laughs> Honestly, the culture here is great and it's just like a really good university in terms of how you study, but you also have an active life and you're doing whatever else you want nearby in the city of Chicago also. That's pretty much great. it. Great. Um, and how do you like the core curriculum? So far, so good. I didn't like fi sci, I didn't like bio sci, mm -hmm. but you know, I'm a humanities guy, so right, right. that's what it's supposed to be. It can be really daunting at first. Um, I'm currently taking uh, my Hume, uh, my Civ, and a Math, but it also like allows you to really explore. Like you don't yet have to let go of like having any specific subject that you like ver are very deeply interested in, and I think it also like cultivates this kind of like culture of like having like math and philosophy majors mm -hmm. and like just being able to like um, find that kind of like or find that people aren't just like into one thing uh, which is really nice. The core classes are really great. Um, my professors are really awesome and they understand that it's my first year so like we've been able to have all these great discussions while they still understand that like I've only started reading this stuff about a week and a half ago and I can't be expected to have like absolute expertise, but it's been really awesome getting to discuss all of these, um, all, all of these books with people who like really know what they're doing. Uh, I think it gives people a great opportunity to like, get a nice base of knowledge before they go on to the harder classes. Or... I think that it could be reduced at times. Uh, I get the idea of wanting to be a Renaissance man or woman, but some of the courses I think are probably unnecessary. Personally, I don't mind it, but I get why some folks have qualms with it. How's the experience been um, as an international student? It's been great. The culture shock is a bit of a thing, but it doesn't really matter. The college gets you into a lot of like social events and a lot of interactions with everyone, so you get used to it. And first quarter is not normally that intense, so you, you can get into it and you get used to the entire like ecosystem, so it, it's not really a deal. I think it's been pretty good. Is it difficult? And actually, I'm taking courses from the ELI, English Language Institute, and they offer many like English courses to help you um, practice your English to, for you to become more fluent in English. So I think that's very helpful as well. How do you feel about the quarter system? Uh, the quarter system is really fast-paced. Like um, it's it's uh, it's hard to understand, but when when you're in it. It's really nice because you get to cover all this material in such a fast pace, but it really is like a lot faster than you think it is. <laughs> How do you feel the career advancement programs here are? Do you feel like you have good connections and networking? Yes. Excellent. There's a man named Patrick who is the most amazing human being you will meet in your life, and he will save your career before it even starts. Do you have any advice for um, students applying to UChicago? Do a lot of research. I like can confidently say that I didn't take that advice. Um, not as much as I should have. I think I got um, really, maybe in some ways lucky in that a lot of the core values like I had ended up resonating a lot with the university, which I guess in a lot of ways is like better, right? You want that to be like something that's pre-existing before you apply here because there's definitely like a culture of um, uh, within New Chicago that's very distinct from other universities. Uh, I mean, good test scores and GPA don't hurt, but uh, I don't know. I'd okay. say at a certain point it's kind of a crapshoot. A lot of qualified applicants and uh, we're just lucky to be here. So. so if you could go back and do it all again, would you still go to UChicago, you think? Yeah, sure. Definitely. Yeah? Sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Good. I mean, I've vaulted myself many steps forward here. So. Well, that's what the students have to say about UChicago. Thanks for watching.